So, first dinner. We bought it. <laughs> out this weekend. I at least wanted to feel it on the road, see if there's anything major drivable the issues with it. And there's not. We've definitely got to learn the systems. I'm not still sure how the main battery, aux battery, what they power, you know, the inverter's on, we have lights. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure how all that's kind of looking together, but you know, we'll learn it. Plus the generator keeps kicking off. But I don't really need it. So maybe that's why. We just sat at a friend's house with the engine off and the generator on the whole time running AC. So maybe because there's no load on it, it doesn't turn off. Yeah, it's cool enough out now. And there's so many windows that the breeze is keeping it cool inside here. Yeah. It's good to know. It's really when we want to go to the or if it's even a little bit cool out, we can use the air to cool inside. Yeah, there's a lot of windows. I think we'll take it tomorrow. Well, we're just gonna go. We haven't done any research, so we probably can't get into a campground. We could probably drive through a few because they're off the road, but um, you know, if we can, we can. Mm -hmm. If we can, we can. Uh, I mean, I would like to plug into shore power for the night just to make sure we don't have any power issues overnight because we're still not used to the system. But worst case scenario, we kick the generator on. Mm -hmm. You know, but it is right under the bed too, so. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of campgrounds up there that are first come first sure. So make it lucky. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll film it for sure. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this is our house. It's a pretty sweet house. All right, back to sushi. Powder mm -hmm. pudding. All daily nonsense. Nice big wardrobe. And oh, same size bed. Little nightstands on either side and little extra storage too. Oh and the bed lifts up and there's storage on the other, so. morning from our first morning spent in our brand new RV and what do you want the first morning that you wake up anywhere anytime in any life situation I want a freaking cup of coffee I've got COVID hair I've got you know slept in a new bed for the first time we're in a new place we'll get to all that if we haven't already I don't know where this video is gonna be and we brought our fancy espresso machine coffee maker we kind of left the house a little bit in a hurry. I don't know what's going on there, but it was just we were just a little bit rushed because I had a thing to do and didn't have time to really plan anything. So there's a piece to that espresso machine. Just listen to the grinding in the background. There's a piece to that machine where the, the coffee pucks go down inside and if it, the machine knows it's not there. It senses it. And we left it in the sink. Uh, when we cleaned it, it was left in the sink. And the person, the person that left it in the sink is now grinding coffee <laughs> in another way. 
so, so this is our empty wine bottle from our first night in the RV because we were so excited. We got our favorite wine and now I'm glad we have it because it's grinding coffee. <laughs> Oh god. Ish. Hey, that's actually going pretty quick. For a French press, I think this will be not too much longer before it's doable. Yeah, the only real good thing here is we brought what we call our go box. It's our emergency camping box. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we get into that later, but we brought that and it has a it has like a um, GSI uh, like camping French press. And um, but we don't have a grinder. So I mean, that's not too bad. Not too bad for, you know, French press. Problem is, there's not quite enough in there to do a whole French press worth of this. I don't think we have quite enough close. water either. <laughs> no, so. That's perfect. The water, one on our gas stove here. There's the broken espresso machine. But, uh, we didn't know this. We, we, we've done some research, but our water smells like rotten eggs, but apparently that's a common thing with a water heater. Yeah. But I don't know about our water tank because the cold water smells that way too. Um, but we've got a four-year warranty, so when we bring this back on Monday, they're going to store it for us for a couple weeks before we head out. Then uh, we'll have them checked out. Mm -hmm. There we go. have worse coffee. <laughs> oh, come on, it can't be that bad. <laughs> it's a little watery because it doesn't have time to, you know, the grounds are too big. Yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe you should let it sit longer. It's coffee. I let <laughs> it sit four minutes. That's a French press, four minutes. Mm -hmm. But it's better than no coffee. Here we go. All right, back to breakfast. Yeah, what are we having? Um, I got a potato scramble thing. Yeah, this was a, a quick trip, so we didn't really have a lot of time to prepare for it. We just took what we had in the house. Yep. But, you know, it's a good shakedown for the RV because we're going to see, you know, how it is living in this thing and what we need. So far, so good. So, look at how hot this thing goes. Haven't had a gas oven in a, or a stove top in a while, so I'm excited about that. It's nice and hot. <laughs> 